All right, so in this session, we will look at how can we create a YAML file in order to run the test cases in headless mode and how can we run the test cases in parallel. Let's get started. We'll be using the same project from the previous sessions and as we can see at the same level with the side project, we find this config.yaml file. Let's open the file and have a look inside. As we can see, we have the capabilities, we find the browser name and also the Chrome options. For Chrome options, we have a single argument, which is the headless mode. And that's everything we need to run the test cases in headless mode. Let's close this now and see how can we run the test cases using this YAML file. So the command is similar with what we already know. We have this new extra argument, which is for config file followed by the path to the YAML file. And that's it. Let's give it a try. As we can see, test case is started to run in the background. First test case finished with success. The same the second one. At the end we get a similar report, number of tests and the time taken. Now is the time to run the test cases in parallel. First, we have to do some small configuration from Selenium IDE. I have opened the project. I am on test suites. And go to settings. And here we have to make sure we select this option to run in parallel. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go and submit this, save the project, and let's run the test cases from the runner. So back in runner, the command to run the test cases remain the same. We can see two test cases started to run at the same time. Two driver instances were created. And at the end we get a similar report and everything seems to be fine. Thank you very much for your time and see you at the next one. Bye.